ramping up evacuations at this hour of all non-essential oil workers because of what is on your screen to the left. In the last 52 minutes, Tropical Storm Ida, which is now just at Cuba, and this video on the right is video from Cuba that has just come into the Fox Business Newsroom. The tropical storm has morphed into a Category 1 hurricane, and as you see, it is heading straight for the Gulf of Mexico. Now, BP, BHP, Chevron, and Royal Dutch Shell are all moving workers out of the region, and BHP, BP, and Shell have completely shut down production. The shutdown directly affecting gasoline prices, which have risen in each of the past two trading sessions. The area around the Gulf is key for the oil industry, as more than 45 percent of refining capacity in the U.S. lies along the coast. Now, as we bring in our floor show traders, Phil Flynn, and of course, Tom Hayes, I don't know, can we put that um, radar back up? And I'm asking for that because you can see, guys, it is supposed to hit Louisiana Sunday. And it will be, according to this radar, a Category 3 hurricane. Obviously a significant ramp up right there. Phil, we're seeing oil prices spike. What else are you seeing and how will the markets endure what is about to happen? Well, you know, we're seeing we're going to see more shutdowns of production as, as the oil companies try to get out of way, the way. A crude oil right now, 58 percent of the production is down. I would expect that by tomorrow it could almost be 90 percent, if not totally shut down in the Gulf of Mexico. I think when it comes to oil platforms, if you look at the track of the storm, it's going through some of the biggest platforms in the Gulf of Mexico. They're going right, the storm is gonna go right over them. So uh, for for shutting them in, it's very important. Now, the good news is, is that the industry in recent years is, is a lot better at this. They've had a lot of practice. And, and what's really eerie about this storm it's taken the exact same track that Hurricane Katrina did 16 years ago, which was a devastating blow to New Orleans that we all knew. Now that storm, of course, was a lot larger than this storm, but um, there's a lot of memories in the oil industry of, uh, of the impact of that storm. And they learned a lot from that storm. Uh, and uh, sadly, you know, the hard way. That is very true. And as we're looking at this, uh, it, it looks bad enough. That's for sure. Category three is, is nothing to sneeze at here. Heading for Grand Isle, Huma, Morgan City, and then, as you say, New Orleans. Tom Hayes, is there is there any sort of historical perspective of how these storms hit the overall broader markets? And is the storm of the Fed, which kind of turned out to be drizzle today, um, sort of having more power on what's happening? Because we've got a very significant stock rally here right now. Yeah, no question about it. Well, uh, Liz, what, what you're seeing here is, uh, as you said, 59% of production is shut down. That's going to increase. But we may get some relief next Wednesday in the oil prices as OPEC plus meets. And they're expected to follow through with their increasing production plan of 400,000 barrels per day each month through the end of 2022. So we may see this short-term spike in oil, but then OPEC may take some of that uh, off by putting putting production back on next week. So that'll be good. If you have new money to work in this sector, I like high quality EOG, Diamondback Energy on the pipelines, energy transfer and on the refiners, Phillips 66. As it relates to the Fed, what we're seeing today is of the dovish taper and the, you, you're seeing the reopening trade come back in full force with small caps which have done nothing for six months they're flying today and then energy bank stocks so uh coming yeah. into the trade theme, we like boeing moving forward they just got approved in india uh yesterday for the 737 okay. max and china is in the process so we think this stock has legs over the next 12 to 18 months all right. Great to have you both. And I know I keep keep uh, sort of hitting the, the Russell here, but it's up three percent, folks, for the small and mid caps. Thank you both. Have a good weekend, Tom and Phil Peloton. Speaking of the return 